Um, we were doing the uh, when I made my first uh, cream soap without stearic acid in it, as you noticed, and everybody seen that it was separating. Well, I kind of was playing around with that cream soap and I got it to stay together. As you can see, it's a nice creamy, it's got that beautiful soft silky texture to it, but um, I added a salt to it to bring out the stearic acid in it and that's what's held the emulsion into cream form. It doesn't separate now um, and it'll stiffen up a little bit over the next few days but this is that that small batch as you can see it's filled this whole thing up um, and I still have to figure out where to put the uh, the last little bit right there that I have but I had, that was me putting two and a half teaspoons not tablespoons teaspoons two and a half teaspoons so if you're having a hard time with the non stearic acid cream soap and you want to um, hold it into emulsion where it doesn't separate into like a thin layer on the bottom of it being oil and the top being more almost like a cream soap or it breaking down or anything um, I'm gonna come up with a formula for and what I'm thinking is we're going to cut our water down in our actual formula to a 3 to 1 ratio and use that extra 10 ounces um, for afterwards. So when we make the soap, uh, we'll make it the same way as normal, but afterwards we'll dilute 2 and a half teaspoons of sea salt. I put sea salt in it into the 10 ounces of water and use that at the time of whipping. And I'm thinking we're going to come up with the same exact thing because the salt is pulling the stearic acid out of it and holding it into emulsion and thinking and and thickening it. Um, I'm going to make one today and I'll video it today uh, and uh, show you the process that I'm doing that I'm talking about so that you guys will understand exactly what I'm talking about but that's what I found out for now and I'm kinda happy with this because like I said this is real rich and creamy and here I'm gonna show you uh, what we how it works in in the soap so I'm just gonna take or underwater so I'm just gonna take that little bit okay and I'm gonna I wanna show you this you guys are not gonna believe this now this is again absolutely no steric acid it has that really rich creamy feel to it and it's just a little bit of soap. And it's going to give that really, really creamy lather to it, okay? Now, I'm going to show you something me and my son came across last night. I want to show you the lather you're going to get, all right? There's just the lather on that hand, right? I'm going to completely rinse my other hand off no soap on it at all. Okay, now watch. We've got that and I've got enough lather to completely coat and cover my hands. And I mean, it feels like silk in your hands. You have no idea. <laughs> completely different than using stearic acid. Even my son realized this last night. He used the stearic acid soap and then he used this one. And this one, my skin felt really soft and clean. As you can tell, it rinses very easily and clean. But the stearic acid one, his hands felt really tight and it actually felt like it was pulling the skin off because, and so he had to rewash his hands with this formula without the stearic acid in it. Um, my nails were soft, my hands were really soft, and I don't have that like, um, I want to say almost like that biting action on my skin anymore. So, or tacky feel, I don't know how you really want to say it, but if you've used stearic acid in, in your cream soap, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but you're, we're getting a really high lather, and it's just by the addition of keeping it into the cream form and it not separating by using a little bit of the sea salt. I will show you exactly what I'm doing and I will make a batch today and um, whip it with the ureic 
uh, acid uh, formula tomorrow after it's cooled and I will post that video for you guys to watch. So we found the missing link and I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.